Um, okay, so um, just generally, if you're in early stage withdrawal from bad relationships or food in the early days, then definitely say no, because you're going through your first withdrawal. Um, after you get to places where you're feeling at peace and serenity, um, <clears throat> uh, it also it, it's dependent on a few factors as to <clears throat> if people approach you again, um, whether you say yes or no. Um, usually, um, depending on what level, uh, like if you're, and when I say different levels of spirituality, some people are approaching, want to get to a level of unconditional love and some want to get to a level of enlightenment. And there's a slight difference. When you're going for enlightenment, you're, you're transcending everything and making everything equally meaningless, you know. So that's one thing. But, you know, there is no right or wrong answer. But everything has, um, uh, is coming from a certain level of consciousness. So when, when you're relating to a, say, um, you've not spoken to someone who might have been toxic for a long time, but now you're feeling well and spiritually good. Uh, if, you, uh, if you say yes or no, if they want to come back and meet you again, it just depends on your, um, how the answer comes. You can just have a guess at where the answer comes from, depending on how limited or how separated you feel. So let's say like um, I've not met, met someone who I've had a really bad relationship with for six months and I've been on a Buddhist retreat in the, in the mountains and I'm feeling really spiritually well and then as soon as I come back from the Buddhist retreat I get a little text, uh, let's meet up for, for a meal. So you've done a lot of spiritual work. Um, again, you know, usually, um, the, you know, I would say there's an intuitive thing as to, you know, is it a temptation or is it now time to um, say yes, you know, mm. intuitively? Mm. I mean, sometimes it might be actually, intuitively, it's, it's a test, actually. Mm. Even though you're in a good place and you're feeling like Buddha, it can actually be, there might be some slight intuition that actually I should say no. Or it might be that, you know, you've cleared a lot of karma and you're now like, you know, you're, 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 you're in oneness, uh, you're in bliss, and, and whatever was there has been deleted and it's now, okay, it's now uh, good to say yes. But um, I would always check, you know, whatever it is, you wanna, the more you're feeling limited or like a separate person, the more likely it's gonna come from more of an ego choice. Mm -hmm. And I'd, I would, um, and even if like I'm, I'm off a Buddhist retreat, I'm feeling like I'm Buddha, and I get a text like, let's get back together again, let's meet up for lunch tomorrow. You know, I would, I'd probably spend a bit of time just going to the observer of that and just like trying to get to oneness and stillness and emptiness and see if there's still that spontaneity that need to, you know, and let that guide you in doing it. Because it's a great question, because sometimes, you know, you, you, you know how, you, that's more of an intuitive thing. But at advanced levels, what's the right answer? And I say, the more you're in the infinite, the more you're in the observer, the more likelihood you'll choose the right one. And the more you're feeling like a separated individual, there's a greater chance, you know, the more that you're feeling identified with your thinking and your body as a separate person that has to think it out mm -hmm. and make a choice from the ego, then there's a greater chance that it, it may not be the right, the highest choice mm -hmm. in, that le in that way. Mm -hmm. I reckon I can see the symptoms nowadays of <coughs> e egoic choices in, yes. my, in my daily life. It's just like emotional hunger or normal hunger. Yeah. Emotional hunger has, is really fast. Mm. I need it now. It cannot be postponed. Mm. There's mm. a sense of I'm going to die without it. Yeah. So yeah. I, I kind of ha ha have that with relationships and all of that. Mm. You know, I, I don't go after. I'm not the guy adding the, the, the newcomer of the group meeting before the meeting finishes on Facebook. You know, I'm not that guy anymore. Um, and I don't go after. You know, I, I let things come, but I'm also afraid of all the codependency and insanity that I know that can happen in a relationship because it mm -hmm. happened in the, in the past. And interestingly enough, my last sponsor in SAA is now going through a tough t stage, a uh, phase actually, he texted me yesterday <coughs> saying that, you know, I'm really 
I'm a rock love scent, but I'm really struggling with this. And I saw his relationship uh, going, flourishing. But it was real, you know, it was real. Because hmm. if I'm, in a way, also trying to control life, you know what I mean? You know, being scared of okay. stepping yeah. into a relationship. Hmm. You know, just, I'm also in a, a great trap. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm knowing what's the best for me, and I don't know what's the best for me. You know what I mean? Well, yes, and also, <clears throat> you know, if, if you're like saying no to life yeah. from a sense of separation, yeah. like, um, like uh, I'll never eat uh, another cho chocolate again, yeah. and I'm saying that from a place of um, fear mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. separation, like me, this is very dangerous chocolates, you know, like nobody bring chocolates here, and otherwise exactly. it's too scary, and definitely, you know, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're banned from this group. <laughs> so if there's that kind of yeah. like limited, like yeah. I'm mm -hmm. stay, keep it away, yeah. then it's coming from a place of separation yeah. rather than the infinite oneness. So yeah, that that you know they call that what is it, anorexia, or they yeah. call that the form yeah. of of fear, fear of the thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. rather than transcending the thing and it being being another thing. Yes, I agree. Mm -hmm. Then you're like trying to force the world to stay away from it yes. or. Yeah. Or like, you know, or I'd be like mm -hmm. scared of women. I'd say, no, no women in this group or something like yes. that, you know. It's so. no life, really, isn't it? And it's, yeah. exactly, it's yeah. funny how the universe yeah. actually has very fast told me that you're not, you don't call the shots here. <laughs> yes. I, was, I was in an AA meeting and this beautiful girl walks in. I'm normally not triggered by, this might be some stupid set, but I'm not triggered by by women uh, breastfeeding uh, around me because I, I don't know, I feel the maternal side. This is a really young girl, very attractive. And she <laughs> 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 sits there, she starts breastfeeding. <laughs> the moment that there's even like the I, I wasn't watching, I could <laughs> But the baby wasn't actually so there's just the breast. Hanging. Once everyone is all out. I'm not to be to be to to be to be to be to to be to because I, I am afraid when this gets really serious. <laughs> <laughs> but she does laugh. Like, oh, sugar. It's so funny. <laughs> but I, I really was like, you know, the more I pushed. The more <laughs> what do you mean the more you pushed? Like the more, the more I like, I'm afraid like you Oh, your fear, yeah. yeah. Okay. And fearful around it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a breast hanging in the 12-step meeting, right here. This is going to be a breast friendly group. I shared this with an SA fellow. <laughs> it's like, whoa, whoa, oh holy shit. This is a baby oh friendly my group, God. you know. We're oh, thank God, but that you made me laugh and do the other one. And I, I laugh at the, at, the, at, the, at the stupidity of it because breast or hand is exactly the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's you want to <laughs> <laughs> say, say that room, a room full of sex addicts or something? Yeah, yeah, and you know how AA are, you know? AA <laughs> hey, is like, no... Are you talking about sex meetings, No, it? no. <laughs> <laughs> all all bets would be off if that happens. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is good. This is going to be the like, X-rated video in this one. This <laughs> one. No, it was an AA meeting. Oh, Jesus! You can feel that, the, 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 you know, AA meetings, there's a lot of us oh. AA and OA. <laughs> you know. Is this video on? Yes, it's on. Oh, it's on! Oh, I see! Oh, the video's on! <laughs> yeah, I thought you knew that. Okay, we're off. <laughs>